I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County with an update for August 18th. There's a lot happening regarding the upcoming fall vaccines for respiratory viruses. We all have some decisions to make. I'd like to offer some guidance. Last fall and winter, influenza, COVID-19, and RSV each contributed to spikes in respiratory illness and hospitalizations. Some refer to this as the triple-demic. This fall is the first time there will be vaccines for all three of these diseases. And we want to take advantage of this protection against major causes of respiratory illness in Marin. So here's a quick walk through who should get which vaccine and when. Starting with COVID-19 fall boosters. As you know, we're expecting a new formulation, which will target the currently dominant XBB strains. We're hearing that early October may be the rollout date, which at this point feels like a long time to wait. Wastewater levels have been rising in Marin for six weeks, and now we're starting to see hospitalizations rise as well. This week, we moved from low to medium COVID-19 level in Marin based on wastewater concentrations. You can see the steady rise starting in June here in this image from our wastewater surveillance data. This pattern could easily continue into fall. This image also shows that over the past year, we've seen at least three distinct waves and we're starting into another. So COVID-19 isn't really seasonal the way flu and RSV are, at least not yet. And we need to stay flexible in our response. Marin Public Health will strongly recommend the fall COVID-19 booster for those groups we know are at highest risk, especially anyone over 60 and those with chronic medical conditions and their caregivers. These are in fact the groups we're starting to see beginning to roll back into hospitals with the current uptick in COVID-19 hospitalizations. Now onto flu. As you know, influenza virus, like the virus that causes COVID, is always shifting. So the fall flu shot changes annually to match circulating strains. They look at strains moving in the southern hemisphere to predict what we'll see the following winter here. And it's looking like this year is a good match. A flu shot typically cuts your chances of severe illness in half or better. While everyone aged six months and older should get a flu shot every year, it's especially important for those who are most vulnerable. And there are special higher dose vaccines that add protection for older adults. Regarding when to get the flu shot, local data can help answer this question. This past fall, we started measuring influenza levels in our wastewater, and it confirms a remarkable seasonal pattern. You can see cases rising in November, peaked in December, and then dropped again quickly in last flu season. Vaccine protection wanes throughout a flu season, so you don't necessarily need to get vaccinated as soon as it becomes available. In fact, for most people, October will be the best time to get vaccinated, so you're fully protected before the first wave, and you're also well covered into the spring. Now to RSV. RSV impacts the same older and immune compromised groups as influenza and COVID, but also infants and young children. In fact, during the pandemic, RSV landed more children in the hospital than COVID-19. The good news is for the first time, an RSV vaccine is available and has about 80% efficacy in preventing illness in older adults. The less good news, it is not yet available for children. So people aged 60 and older and people with underlying health conditions can get the RSV vaccine this fall. But the vaccine is just starting to roll out and many of our healthcare providers and pharmacies are still waiting to receive their first doses. So you might have to hold tight a few weeks. We follow RSV in our wastewater as well. And it shows that like flu, RSV is highly seasonal. This shows it rose quickly through November with a peak in December last season and then a longer taper through the spring. Fortunately, the protection of the RSV vaccine doesn't wane quickly and lasts a year or longer. So to summarize, we're fortunate to have three vaccines to fight the main viruses we're expecting this fall. Of the three, I think the highest yield would be the COVID booster for our older and most vulnerable residents. COVID cases and hospitalizations are on the rise slowly, so we're especially eager to get the new vaccine to our most vulnerable residents as early as possible. Early October is looking like the sweet spot for fall vaccines in Marin. We'll finally have the new COVID-19 vaccine, and it's good timing for season-long protection against influenza and RSV. If you qualify for all three, you should talk to your doctor about getting them all at once or spacing them out. There are pluses and minuses to either approach. 
You'll get the vaccine from your healthcare provider or a pharmacy. And our team in public health will be holding special clinics for people who don't have access to or can't afford those other options. We believe an informed community is a healthier community. And if you're interested in following our virus levels in Marin, check out our website where we post data for the public. We'll continue to provide updates as things change. Thank you for doing your part.